A lot of times people wonder, what is EMDR therapy and can it be helpful for me and how does it work? Well, as an EMDR therapist, I just want to share some of my thoughts with you. EMDR therapy stands for eye movement, desensitization, and reprocessing, and it just helps to reprocess things that are stuck in the nervous system. People are stuck in survival states when they've been traumatized. Now, trauma isn't necessarily what happened, such as a natural disaster or the horrific event, the violent crime or the divorce, or it's not even what didn't happen that needed to happen, such as um, nurturing, kindness being there for you when you needed them. It's what happens in the nervous system as a result of those things. And the thing is, those experiences can leave the nervous system, the brain and the body, feeling like the past is present and it shows up as such. So it can leave people stuck in these states of mobilization, sympathetic flight or fight, where the body is just ready to fight it out or get out, get back to safety. So the heart beats faster, the food digests differently, the thoughts um, just kind of really go um, looping on and on and on. Things happen. It can look like persistent anxiety, aggression, irritability. It can even look like uh, placating, people pleasing, just doing something to get back to safety. And when that doesn't work, you know what? Sometimes it will do what I think of as blowing like the emotional breaker. In a breaker box, the um, so one time uh, like the breaker blew when I um, plugged in too many things and it just blew and then the lights went out. That's kind of how it works in the nervous system. When flight or fight doesn't work, then immobilization, shutdown can occur. And that's freeze, faint. That could be like persistent depression, the deep sadness, low energy, fatigue, so tired, depression. That is not something that you could just uh, pull up your bootstraps and get going. It's something that keeps you down because your body's responding in an immobilized state. That's when people come to EMDR therapy and they can get their life back. They can reprocess those things that are leaving them stuck in survival states and help them move back to states of regulation. And it's pretty cool. A lot of times people are struggling with their sleep. It's hard to sleep when your body is on high alert. And when I say your body, I'm really referring to um, we take in just information all the time, whether we're awake or whether we're sleeping or not. And once been traumatized, there's this um, kind of reaction of the nervous system to default in dangers present because it knows danger on a very, very personal level because it's experienced it, um, then the uh, likelihood to react and respond is um, much greater. So we get like um, big emotional um, outbursts. The um, people can feel sick. They can have panic attacks, heart palpitations gut issues makes relationships hard because when someone has experienced trauma a lot of times the relationships don't feel safe safe doesn't feel safe anymore so they struggle with relationships with themselves and with others they struggle with really being able to go in to a place and feel safe even if it is safe. EMDR therapy can help with that all. It has eight phases and in the first phase um, we really just conceptualize the case, take in the history, gather information, look at is this a good time for EMDR therapy, what are some targets and resources, what are we going to work on, what's the good stuff, are there any secondary gains, some things that may be having this experience is affording the person as a positive that could slow down therapy that we need to really kind of address as well. And then we do phase two preparation, just really prepare the person for MDR therapy, help them manage their emotions, help them 
to access safety, develop the resources, familiarize them with the process. And then we move on to phase three, and that's where we just light up the neural networks on whatever it is that we're focusing on. What's really cool, we can focus on one thing and we can heal things that are associated with that in the memory network. Once we've done phase three, the assessment, then we move on to phase four, desensitization. That's the phase that some people think of as EMDR itself, but EMDR really has eight phases. It has more than just phase four, but phase four is pretty cool. We use this process called bilateral stimulation, where we activate the right and the left side of the body at a certain parts of the therapy while things are activated that helps desensitize it to where things don't feel upset anymore. Yeah, I think of it as kind of like unplugging the emotionality of this thing. It's really cool when people first get EMDR therapy and they experience that. I remember when that happened to me, I was like, I don't feel upset about that thing anymore. And it was something that would really make me mad that we were targeting and I had like a neutral response. That's when you know it's integrated. That's called freedom. And then after phase four, and we just lower the emotionality down to zero or what they call ecologically valid, um, we move to phase five installation. And that's where we just explore the positive thoughts that feel true that goes with that. And then we just lock them together. We do a little bit more of that bilateral stimulation, whether it's through like eye movements or sometimes people hold on the pulsars or they will tap or they'll move their body. Uh, sometimes it's even um, listening to tones in your ears. There's so many different ways you can do it in person and online and in nature. I do it in nature as well. Um, then once we have done that in phase five installation, we move to phase six body scan. Now I think a phase six body scan is kind of like a polygraph test for this thing. Let's check the truth. Let's check the real truth of these positive cognitions and see what it feels like in the body when we pair it with that original thing. And if it does, if it's not truly true, you'll feel something in the body. If there's any more residual thing that we need to work through. And sometimes there is, and we just process through that with more bilateral stimulation and work out the dust bunnies, I think of them as. And then after that, we move on to phase seven, closure, which I think of phase seven as analogous to, um, like if you go get a procedure done, a medical procedure, and they will maybe um, close things up and bandage it up and just get you ready to go out into the world. That's what phase seven closure is. It's, we do some breathing and some movement with kids. We'll toss around the balloon, do some playing. Um, it's really cool. And then for phase eight, that's when you come back after a session, after you've targeted something and you've worked through it. That's just checking on where it is now. Did, um, did the distress level change? Sometimes when you leave and you go back into the world, you'll be able to access new parts of that memory and we'll work through whatever it is we need to work through at that time. That's the eight phases of EMDR, and it's really kind of based on this, it's called the AIP model, the Adaptive Information Processing Model, that really, um, it tells us that things get stuck at the time that they happen in the nervous system, and the body learns something. And sometimes those things that it learned is, is true in the moment, but it's not true later, and it helps us just to kind of use the eight phases of EMDR to help them realize that, realize when I say realize, not just in their thoughts, a lot of times people come to EMDR therapy when talk therapy doesn't work because talking it down isn't what is necessarily as much as just kind of reprocessing it. Um, uh, we just really kind of um, use that AIP model to know that um, once we uh, go through the eight phases of EMDR, then that inter information in their body, the felt sense, the thoughts, all of it, um, it is integrated and it no longer has control over the person so they can feel the truth of the happened, it's over, I'm a good person, I matter, I'm safe, I have choices. I'm Jackie Flynn. I'm an EMDR therapist. I'm certified. I'm a consultant in injury advanced and a basic trainer. I hope this helped in some way. Take care. Bye.